Hey guys, we're back at it again for another edition of Coaches Classes. So yesterday I just threw up a warm up video and from now on I'm just going to throw up a little quick circuit videos and you can build your own class then from all these individual videos that are going to be on the YouTube library. Um, so a quick little demonstration of the four exercises we're going to do in today's class. It's going to be a push, pull, legs and core circuit. So pretty much covering the entire body from top to bottom. Okay, so our main pushing exercise is going to be first, that is a push up down on the floor. So down into a kneeling position for most, crossing the legs behind, then good full range motion, dropping all the way to the ground. Okay, so making sure the whole body is dropping down, that it's not just upper body and head, which you see a lot of people doing. So entire body drops down and pushes back up. If you're able, chance going up onto the toes for a bit of a tougher push up. Okay? So that's our push, our pulling exercise. We're going to use a couple of weights, kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever you have. A weight in each hand, we're going to do a bent over row. So we'll stick your butt out behind, kick the hips way back, pivot over at the hip, and then we're going to roll the weight straight up, straight down into the midsection, squeezing the shoulder blades together here at the top. For legs, we're going to do some squats. So we want a hip width stance, feet, hips, shoulders, all in a nice straight line, head and chest is up. We drop as deep as you possibly can and then power back up. Important to always keep the heels flat down on the ground with this. So even as you get right down to that depth, your heels stay flat on the floor. Okay? And after the leg exercise, it's core. So we do some crunches. We drop down into the ground, plant the feet firmly on the floor, and just curl the shoulder blades up off the ground. Little bend in the spine as you're coming up. Okay? So push, pull, legs and core. We're gonna work for 30 seconds at a time, rest for 15 in between. So everyone ready to rock. Start with push-ups, guys. Three, two, and back we go. Push-ups. So you should be already cracking on there now, guys, in your kneeling position. Dropping right to the floor and powering back up. We'll do 30 seconds in these push-ups. Good full range of motion. And then we're gonna get back up onto the feet. Grab our weights and do some bent over rows. So another 10 seconds or so, keep it working. Five and five. Two, one, and rest. Take a little breather. So 15 seconds, grab your weights, kettlebell on each hand, stick the butt up behind, pivot over the hips, and then we're pulling the weights straight up, straight down. So ready for in five. Two, one, and off we go. So squeeze the shoulder blades in together as you draw the weights up and into the rib cage. We'll do 30 seconds here, now we get on the rows, and then again it's rest for 15. So coming up on halfway, that'll be our push and our pull done. Then we're on to legs. So 10 more seconds of rows. Coming into the final five. Two, one, and rest. Good. So legs next, we're gonna do some squats, shoulder width stance, head and chest up, dropping down as deep as you can, and then powering up through the heels, always keeping the back straight. Okay, so ready again in three, two, and off we go. 30 seconds of squats, good deep reps every time. Powering up through the heels. Okay. That'll be legs done with, then we're after some core work. So there are 15 seconds of squats, then we're coming down onto the floor. Some crunches will be next. Almost there now guys, keep working. Final five seconds on squats. Two, one, and rest. Good. So crunches now, we're going to plant the feet from the ground. Lower back is down in contact with the glutes. And then we're going to get the upper back up off the floor. So a curl in the spine. Get the shoulder blades up. Two, one, and off we go. Exhale and through the reps as you come up. Little pause and squeeze at the top if you can. 30 seconds of these. And we're past halfway. So keep working, keep getting those crunches done. We're going to go once more around the circuit now as well. So final five seconds on crunches and it's back to push-ups. Two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. So push-ups now again. So we're into that kneeling position, the legs are crossed behind. 
We're going to get good full range of motion dropping all the way down. We're ready for it in five. So two, one, and off we go. With full range, right down, touch the nose to the ground. Make sure the whole body is traveling up and down, not just the upper body. So you have the legs in the midsection, you have to move it. Breathing through the reps. Good stuff, guys. About 10 seconds to go on those. Then we're back on the feet for some bent over rows, which are a couple of kettlebells. So last two, one, and rest. Good. So bent over rows. Again, weight in each hand. Stick the butt up behind. Peel over the hips so the chest is parallel to the floor. And then we roll the weights straight up, straight down. Squeezing the shoulder blades in. Two, one, and off we go. Keep the back straight. Keep the eyes on the floor. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you roll the weight up. And then right down to full stretch, full extension of the bottom. Okay, so almost there. Coming up on halfway already. This is the last set for the pulling muscles in the back. And then we've one last set for the legs and the core. So, final five. Two, one, and rest. Squats now again next, guys. Hip width stance, head and chest up. Dropping as deep as you can. And tolerance straight back up out of us. Okay, so ready for and five. I'll show you slide down here again. Keeping the heels down. Two, one, and off we go. Nice deep breaths. Heels stay flat to the floor. Back stay straight. And just keep power and show. Okay. Coming up on halfway. And then we're going to finish with some core work. Final 10. Keep moving through those squats. Finish out the strap now. As many reps as possible. Final five. Two, one, and rest. Good. And we're going to go into our final 30 seconds. So again, crunches. We're going to plant the feet. And we're going to try to get the shoulder blades up off the mat. Ready for in five. Couple of deep breaths. Two, one, and off we go. Final turkey. Exhale as you come up. Get the shoulder blades right up off the ground. Squeeze the core at the top. And then all the way down. Okay, so 15 more seconds to go, guys. Keep moving through those crunches. Coming into the final 10, doing very well. Keep breathing through them, we're almost done. Final five on this circuit. Two, one, and rest. Great job, guys. That'll do for this circuit. So you should have the warm up done before this circuit completed. Have a look on the YouTube channel, add another one, and make sure you subscribe. So thanks, guys. Thanks for that. Stay safe, stay at home, and I'll chat to you later.